Hello YouTube. So today I'll be talking about cephalotis leaf cuttings versus root cuttings. And I'll be talking about which one's faster, like which one gives a mature plants, a mature plant faster, like yeah, and which one actually grows slower and which one's faster and which one strikes strikes more, which one strikes less. And yeah, I also just talk about the difference and growth rates about leaf cuttings versus roof cutting. Roof. <laughs> Root cuttings. So I'll first talk about leaf cuttings. So I'll swing you around my cephalotis place. So um, here's my biggest leaf cutting. Rotate. Still have no adult pictures, but still looks pretty good. And this was around six months old, almost seven months, and from a leaf. And leaf cutting is when you, here, here's an example. I'll put it under the light. So these are leaf cuttings. So I saw these non um, carnivorous leaves that the cephalotus <coughs> produces. Like there's one right here. There is one that right there. And these non carnivorous leaves that the cephalotus produce, um, you pull it off, like sort of tug it downwards, try to get a whitish base cl or closer to the base as possible, and you just pluck it in the peat moss or chop finely chopped long fibre respect moth. Both of them work. You can choose to use rooting hormone or no rooting hormone. They both work. I find rooting hormone works slightly faster, but be careful what type of rooting hormone you're using. So, this is leaf cutting. This is leaf cutting, 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 and that one is, these three are root cuttings. So, no, 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 sorry, I'm lying. This one's leaf cutting, so these two are root cutting. I'll sort of talk about them. So, leaf cutting, um, they, after around one month, you can start seeing roots. After three months, usually, um, if you have decent conditions, you should see a small shoot coming out. And for root cutting, after one month, you should see a small shoot. And after two, one more month, it should emerge from the surface. And then for developing speed, root, these root cuttings are like three months younger than my leaf cuttings. And they're around, this root cuttings is the same size as this leaf cutting so root cutting do develop faster and do mature faster this is also root cutting this one's even more recent like this is like three months old and it's like there's like three growth points and root cuttings tend to get multiple more growth points and leaf cuttings the farthest i've seen is two growth point points but this guy has let's see one two this guy has like four or three so root cuttings do develop faster but Leaf cutting is slightly easier depending on because for root cutting it might hurt your plant more and also harder to always do because you have to pull your plant out and also um, small roots, small worldly roots doesn't work, only big thick roots will work so root, that's the disadvantage of root cuttings so I, most of these, that's why most, most of these are prog propagated by leaf cuttings so General, like for practical purposes, I recommend leaf cuttings because you can just literally just like grab the leaf and pull it down and sh shove it into the peat moss or like chopped sphagnum moss and they'll just grow. But root cutting, you have to pull out your plant, find the biggest root, chop it off, chop into pieces, and then bury it around one centimeter under dirt. Um, I recommend peat when you're using root cuttings, not sphagnum. And then after around two months, it'll come out. But Root cutting is harder to do, but do develop faster. So those are the difference. There you go. So that's root cutting versus leaf cuttings. So this, this is root, this is leaf, this is root, this is leaf, 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 leaf. So these and these are quite young, but root cutting, so they develop, the, you can clearly see that they develop, develop fast. <laughs> okay, so that's basically my video. And if you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you on the next video.